Hey Ryobi fans, or not fans, uh, this is Jeff doing Jeff things. I just wanted to share a couple points on these 40 volt Ryobi batteries that everyone has been talking about for some time. Um, I saw a lot of videos about these batteries going dead and not charging on the chargers. Uh, but there was a couple things that I discovered and learned that I just wanted to share really quick. I watched another YouTuber video um, about these batteries. Um, when they drop below 30 volts, they won't charge. Um, and his video was removing the case and uh, adding an additional wire to the ground on the circuit board so they could be charged with a different type of charger uh, to get them above 30 volts so they could charge again in the standard Ryobi charger. Um, the parts I bought on Amazon were total $25. I purchased uh, something similar to what was recommended. Uh, it's a 12 volt 5 amp push um, plug and charger. And then a controller also that you see here I bought on Amazon. Uh, this was a two pack for $7. Uh, definitely reasonably priced, but given the price of a new battery. Uh, there was some negatives about it. Um, someone said that it started smoking as soon as they plugged it in. I uh, have not yet had that experience, but for a two-pack for seven bucks, it uh, was definitely not going to stop me from trying. I also purchased a pack of these uh, alligator clip and wires. Uh, they were, you know, cheap, reasonably priced as well. Um, when I, my mother-in-law has these batteries. Uh, she, these two chargers had failed a long time ago, so these batteries sat on her workbench, I kid you not, for two plus years. And when I brought them home to test them, they both tested at below two volts and have been sitting on her bench uncharged for two volts for quite some time. Uh, so I watched the other YouTube video, I uh, drilled a hole in the side and put in this negative. And then, of course, we have the positive over here. Um, what I ended up doing once I received the charger, I plugged it in. Uh, it has an adapter for wires. I ended up cutting these alligators because it has alligators at both ends. And then I just put in the, um, I cut off and split the wire and put that in there. So I've got two coming out. Um, this controller here, it has an in and an out. So the, normally there's on this corner, there's these little holes that you would normally put a wire through and solder it. But I just use the alligator clips to grab those contacts. And then it goes through the controller and then out. And which I included, I attached to the alligator clip. And then over here to the positive clip which I'm not gonna do because it doesn't need to be charged now. Um, I also noticed something else is that on this controller, you can control uh, how much voltage you want to go to the battery. Now this little screw on top of here, uh, it can be adjusted out to however much voltage you want to put in. Now this power supply is the max at 35 volts when I purchased it, I didn't realize it at the time, but that it was set at 16 volts. So I would charge these batteries, and I kept wondering why my voltmeter was hitting 16 volts and stopping. And of course, doing a little bit more research, I found that I could adjust this screw counterclockwise, which is multiple turns, and I had it hooked up to the voltmeter. As I turned the screw, I could watch and indicate um, how much um, more voltage was supplied. Um, I ended up charging these batteries um, and I was very successful. Um, I did reach over 30 volts, which is the minimum for these chargers, to uh, take a charge. Um, and as I did them, I, I stopped charging them and I started monitoring every hour what their voltage was. I maxed it out at 35.6 for this battery and uncharged throughout the day it remained at 35.6 and it didn't drop really much at all. Uh, this one was at 36 and went down to 31. So um, I'll continue to monitor them but uh, it's a great way to get the batteries charged back up. Um, so 
what I'll probably end up doing, I'll be putting the caps on the ends of these wires uh, so they don't short out, but uh, uh, they should be good to go moving forward. Thanks for watching.